Uh, okay, so here's a quick look at how to import your character into Fantasy Grounds from PC Gen. However, the same steps more or less should also apply for Hero App. So first thing you want to do in PC Gen is export your file. This is the file for my Claire, my Oracle and uh, the Eternia game. So you get the file export. Let's have the export to standard up here, and then you select the C sheet underscore fantasy grounds 2 underscore pc underscore pf version 3 dot xml dot ftl export this to somewhere um, uh, you don't need to open the xml and then the next thing you need to do is to go to the uh, fantasy grounds import tool you can find this usually in the app data folder for uh, uh, fantasy grounds so you go to your explorer and type in percent app data percent and then you find the fantasy grounds folder uh, and then the utilities folder and then you open the character converter.exe make sure the input is set to pfrpg up here and then if you have hero lab you use the hero lab file.hlfg and for PC gen you do the .xml for PC gen. Select the file and then uh, you can output as an XML, you don't need to, that's fine. Uh, make sure you have local import set. Um, the default setting in here for the directory should be perfectly fine. <clears throat> if there's something bullshit in there, uh, just select the fantasy grounds in the app data, uh, like in the setup here, that should work for you. Now, if you already have a campaign uh, that you've already played in with fantasy grounds, you can also do the campaign import, however for us that's not going to work at this point, because we haven't uh, been in Matt's campaign yet. So at this point, just hit convert, it's going to ask me to overwrite my convert all here, that's fine, I don't care about that. And uh, yeah, are we done with this tool? So we can close this out. Next, we're going to Fantasy Grounds and Manage Characters over here. Now make sure you select PFRPG. Not PFRPG2, PFRPG, that's normal Pathfinder. Select Start. And once this has loaded, Get the characters over here. We should definitely have uh, our character selected here in there. This is the one I just imported. Now, what you want to do is just click on it once and then, like, uh, check if everything is correct. Like, the abilities are correct, the speeds are correct, the HP is correct, saves, AC, all that stuff. If the AC is not correct. Uh, it's also a combat tab here where you can change things. However, if you have uh, any kind of gear that changes your AC, make sure in the inventory tab. Um, let's see, where's my. Here's the Mythful Breastplate. This thing here is set equipped. It says not carried or just carried. It's not gonna be uh, added to the AC. I've set it to equipped again. I see my AC is back to 21. Um, the ability details is nice to have. That's like reference for you and all your abilities do. It doesn't really matter in the long run. Um, the important tab is the actions tab. Here you want to check that all your uh, attacks are set up correctly, uh, especially with bonuses you might have. For example, my character has a plus one bonus for star knives, which is not going to be. Uh, it's not, it's like not uh, um, considered yet, so I want to go in here and set the bonus to 2. And the same one with the throne version over here. So I have throne, I guess it's already bonus for 2. No, that's correct. Alright. And then I want to check whether all my spells are in here. 
looking pretty good at this point. Um, when you want to actually use your spells, you should change your display mode from summary to actions. This is going to allow you to uh, execute the effects that are connected to these spells. Not all the spells will perfectly have um, their effects listed here. Sometimes you just have to apply it manually. That's just the way it is. One more thing is that um, you can be a prepared or a spontaneous spellcaster. Right now, this is set up to a prepared spellcaster. If I change the mode down here to prepare preparation, I can then select which spells I have selected how many times. However, my character is a spontaneous spellcaster, so I'm gonna click up here where the little book is, and it changes this, changes it changes it to spontaneous spellcaster. For example, sorcerer. And now when I go back to standard mode, I can then I will execute the spell. It would then like take a, a box in here, if this was an actual game, and say that I've already used one first level spell just to keep track. And that's pretty much it for the fantasy grounds part locally. Um, one last thing you can do is just like the portrait. Um, you have to make sure before you do that is that you have a square image, so it should like be the same height and width. And then you have to uh, put it in a specific folder on your computer. You can open this one by just clicking folder up here. This is going to open the folder, and in this folder you have to put the image that you want to use. Once you have done that, you can go back to Fantasy Grounds and just select the image. Like I haven't put any up here yet, so I'll just take this one, maybe. Double click it, and it's gonna be here. Now, the last thing you do before you exit here is you do slash save just to be sure in the chat. Then you right click anywhere in the, in the playing field and exit program, return to launcher, or exit the program if you want. Now, uh, I have another, another instance, instance of uh, Fantasy Realms running in a, a separate window just to show you how you would join a game. So you go join game, obviously. And you fill in the collection info for me, that's just localhost right now. And then it connects. It takes a while. Now, this initial screen doesn't really matter. Um, once you're in here, you can see the character selection screen. What you want to do now is the little uh, blue icon over here, import character. And that means you can import your characters that are locally on your computer. Just click that. Maybe double click. Actually, click the add character button up here, and it's gonna upload to the server and into the game. And that's it.